And as we're getting closer and closer to Burning Man, uh, the, the, the playa magic and the passion uh, that starts creeping up in me and the people around me, it just it becomes intoxicating. And I'm reminded not just of Burning Man, but how specifically important Pink Heart is to me and how important the people in it are to me. And I just watched uh, a video from the second year of Pink Heart. I think we're in our sixth or seventh now. Uh, Jake Tyson made this video of his first year, which was Pink Heart second. And it kind of, it showed the progression of building in the off season. And it was, I just got so excited remembering that and kind of reflecting where we are now. And I also noticed all the faces. He did these like close-ups of all the people in San Diego that were part of our pre-build team during one of our build parties, our, you know, our work parties. And of the, you know, 35, 40 faces, maybe a third are still in Pink Heart. And in my mind, Pink Heart is this family, you know, this, and I, in my mind, I think, I don't think of anyone leaving Pink Heart. I just think of people of camping at Pink Heart this year. I don't know if that's the way that they think, but it reminded me of something that Alan Watts talks about that of a whirlpool. And that if you go to a river every day, and you go to the same place in the river, you'll recognize the same place in the river. You see that whirlpool. But in reality, it's a different thing every day. The water is just rushing through and creating a pattern. And so you identify with that pattern. In the same way that a human being, the cells are shedding off and regenerating. And so we are a totally different physical entity every something something days. But what is the thing is not the physical thing. What is the thing is the pattern, is the idea. And pink art is an idea and it's a pattern. And as these human cells come into it, give their gifts, work, create, share, whether they maintain their physical presence in the idea or move on down the river, they're still a part of it and hopefully it's still a part of them. One of the intentions of the camp is that, you know, as we're going towards this and building it, is that, you know, we're trying to create a, a safe place, um, a place where we can start to rely on one another and kind of have a, like a family type situation growing. This is very exciting and it is very much destiny, very much just the flow. Things are kind of happening as they should be, the people that are coming together as they should. So I just want to take a moment of gratitude, being thankful for the physical ability to be here together with each other, whatever brought us here. Thanking everyone for bringing their talents, their energy, their time. Help us, universe, to get more in touch with who we are, to be more in touch with our gifts, to be more open with the sharing of those gifts. Help us to individually contribute to one another, to this experience, this event, this community, and as a group. May we create and give and love in ways that we never have before. This is yellow to blue and blue to yellow, right? Is it pink? <laughs> You're doing it. I uh, want fur for your bike. Yeah. Oh. oh. Do we have enough trucks for that much carpet? We'll find out. <laughs> and the journey has begun.